Hi, I'm Steve Green from Steve Green Comedy. Today we're playing Super Fight. Uh, I'm here with Vernon Shaw from Hot Pepper Gaming. Hi. Hey. I'm Cecily. I'm from Cecily. I'm Nathan Barnett, a respected actor from Hot oh. Nathan. Jesus, Nathan. Today we're, we're all going to draw three cards from the deck. We're going to take a character card, we're going to take an attribute card. We choose which characters and which attributes we think are the strongest, and then we do battle together. Cool. Okay. I love game. <laughs> game good. There are going to be three rounds. If you win the round, you get like a temporary Great. placeholder. Can't keep it. That lets us know who's, yeah, that you yeah. don't get to keep it. We keep the ultimate prize. The trophy. Which one of those, we don't know. We don't know which one is the trophy. I want yeah. the big one. I want the big one, too. This is the only one yeah. that you're gonna get. Okay. So Nathan and Vernon, you guys are gonna face okay. off. Okay. Take your cards, please. Three. And then we pick our favorite. Yeah, pick your favorite. Which ones go the best together? So I got a color, and I'm color dumb. Oh, I got one of those two colors on the edge. Orange. Do you mean you're yeah. colorblind? Colorblind. Color oh, you are colorblind. I am. What is that? Okay, so this, Nathan, is a red deck right here. Oh, it's got an okay. R on it, so you'll know. Okay, that's easy. Okay. Oh, there's, but there's no R letter on this R, card. Though, I think. Have you so, chosen yeah. who you're going to do it be yet? Now, I, I wanted to talk this out with you guys, because I want you all to know that um, I got all um, red cards for my character. Dang. Oh, so, um, they're all going to be dirty. So I'm going to be playing a furry who shits bricks. Nathan, are you familiar with what a furry is? I once was uh, played a furry with David Arquette in a commercial. So nice you would know. Name oh, wow. that was so you know. <laughs> yeah, like your name dropping, that was solid. Yeah, I like your name dropping. Is David man. Arquette a furry? He's great, he's the best. Scream yes. 2, he was like the com com comedic relief of Scream 2. He actually. sure was. He was. Can we bring him back to the furries? Yes, really let's quick? go yeah. back to the furry. So you're familiar with, with what furries are, and mm. you're familiar with the fact that they can make people feel a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. But more so than that, I feel that a furry who shits bricks, little bricks, um, for fighting purposes, a little bit more uncomfortable. So are the bricks inside the costume when he shits? In my version of this furry, they are um, keen and equipped to modify their costumes to create a trapdoor to easily access the poop bricks. Interesting. Okay, Vernon, that's an interesting point. And Went I'm to glad college. you made it. I'm glad you made it. Went to college. <laughs> I have chosen out of my cards a reggae band nice. that shoots webs. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Um, wait, tell, I think that tell was me. the best pa best pairing I could get tell out of me, the cards I got. Tell me about this reggae band of yours. Well, this reggae band is a very well respected reggae band. They've played with the specials, they've okay. played with oh, Bob wow. Marley. Okay. You're a reggae band who, mm -hmm. at this point, uh, playing in the 70s, you know, they're 40 mm -hmm. 40 ish years past their prime. You know, they're not they're not uh, too hip to uh, mm -hmm. what's new on the internet. They might be a little off put by something such as My a soul question. man in a furry costume who could potentially have sex with another man in a uh, furry costume. Yiffing is the preferred term. Why oh, is please. it called yiffing? Uh, it's the sound the fox makes when it has sex. Yip, yip, like that. Like yep. that, okay. Okay, well now you guys get to pick out another attribute card to add to okay. your Goliath. Well, my new attribute is my reggae band who shoots webs now they're all wearing a robotic exoskeleton. Okay. Well, so I don't think your kinda... bricks are going to do much to this these guys. Who can, this who can also wear your actually bricks change. in there? Because my furry, and this is actually true to form, because they wear uh, fur suits. Is that he's really clumsy. Mm -hmm. Vernon, I love a good underdog story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Help me vote for you. How the hell do I do that now? Yeah, because well. like you're one guy who shits your weapon, mm -hmm. and, and clumsy. you're clumsy with it. So now I feel like- And then he's a team of guys mm -hmm. who shoots webs wh which could catch your brick, and he has an exoskeleton. All of them have exoskeletons. A reggae band can sometimes be like 40 people. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> My argument that I'm trying to make here is, um, no matter what is attached to the reggae bands, exoskeletons, webs, what have you, the fact that they are 40 years past their prime and an understanding of a subculture such as furries. Yeah. I mean, my grandfather. That they are too uncomfortable to fight. Can you yeah. show me a reggae band relaxed. that can shoot fucking webbing out of their hands and I think they got the kids, okay? So I gotta vote for Nathan, I'm sorry. So Cecily, what, what's your vote? You, you will be the, either the tie maker or the, the breaker. I care about you deeply. Thank you. You're a good person, Vernon. <laughs> Deep these, down, thank you. You deserve better, Vernon. But okay. this, these cards would not beat those cards, in my opinion. In my humble You got opinion. shafted by the cards, man. And also my, my, you know what? It's my okay. My argument it's okay. was good. My argument was good, too. Right? It was unbeatable, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Very Boom. similar. Now it's me and you, Cecily. Should we do that thing where we take the Oh, okay. We go like. 
I bow to you? Oh, yeah. I bow to you, yeah. competitor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's my hand. I'm fucking Kirk. James T like or, Captain or Kirk. Kirk Douglas is a huge difference. Yeah, that's James true. James T, obviously. Okay. This okay. is the nerd deck, it's okay. orange. We do not have to explain who Kirk is. Kirk so Cameron. I am Kirk. Yeah, Cameron. Captain and I Kirk. generate a force field while I masturbate. Ready for this? Martha Stewart armed with dynamite, homie. Now check this out. <laughs> right. Check this out. Captain Kirk does not masturbate because alien women fucking jerk him off and suck him off and all the other stuff. So he it doesn't he never he never gets his force field. You're wrecked by dynamite. He doesn't Game need to <laughs> masturbate. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't need to masturbate. So why would but he? But he knows how. He's got alien women all over the place. He's got women all over the bridge. But if he sees Martha Stewart, he's go, he knows he's not going to want to have sex with her. So he can just masturbate to the things that he's looking he at. He doesn't have to. He's also but not he afraid to hit a woman. But he knows how to. He knows how okay. to. And he yeah, will yeah. do it because he's a fighter and he's the captain of the ship. Here's a scenario. He doesn't okay. lose. So he throws the she throws a dynamite, yeah. ship blows up, he goes into his masturbation shield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Martha Stewart do? She's gonna be stuck in space too now. Yeah, she no, has no, no, no oxygen no. tanks. What do you mean she's got no oxygen? She made one. But she just exploded the <laughs> she ship. She could crash. She's floating through space. Suffocating and freezing while Kirk is in his field that he's yeah. generating himself. You need to you add an attribute. Aren't a very it's sad. Rational, you're very, you're very person, insecure person. You're very you're insecure. Just it's sad. Arguing and it's sad. emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> I, think like Martha, I think Martha needs arguing therapy. Arguing emotionally, just like a man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add another attribute card because right now it's pretty much a stalemate. So right now I just added. Uh, Martha is now armed with a poison-tipped lance. Damn, dude. Ooh, Game over. That's cool. Game over, dude. Okay, I have Kirk. Generating a force field while masturbating. Only while masturbating. And has a pet dire wolf. Bam! I guess explain. Yeah, real let's quick. take a Vernon, break. Vernon, Vernon. For the viewers at home true? who aren't deep nerds, what is a dire wolf? I don't know what the a fuck a dire, dire wolf, wolf is. A dire wolf is a wolf that actually existed in history, but it's really from the uh, from Game of Thrones. That's probably why it's right. in the nerd okay. deck. Let's play this out in the battle scenario okay. we've, we've we've put together. I mean, I'm Captain Kirk, so I have like no my hand in here things. at all times. Yeah, there's no, there's zipper. no zipper. I'm just like, fly. but maybe you can just put. I, I think the dire wolf and the lance like cancel each other out. I need to get it out to start masturbating. Wait, what I, I can start so, yeah. touching myself outside of my. So that that's their two what weapons. What is that? Boom, is that force field masturbation? Because the dire wolf goes straight for Martha, knowing that she she's. But if Martha's going to throw the dart at Kirk. Martha has been taken down by the wolf. She has to recover. The dart, it maybe hit Kirk somewhere, but he's still good enough to like do some battle and, and get Kirk, out of there. Kirk he has just time wounded. and again proven that he can. This is all hypothetical. He's just wounded. Yeah, you guys time, are like so mired in hypothetical. He has That's the reflexes to dodge. It's dodge. so sad. I feel like I should be on Steve's side because you're on my side of the table, but yeah, I'm leaning towards Kirk right I'm gonna now. be honest, I am too. And what's if that it, wolf if it's thing? Else, it's because Kirk is just cooler than Martha. I'm sorry. Steve, if it... You Kirk. gave me the Vernon. benefit of the doubt, Vernon, and I, I want to do the same for you. Vernon, I'm at a really low point right now. <laughs> he has just realized that his skin, the color of Martha Stewart's card, is the same. <laughs> I, I, I think see? it's worth Tessie, mentioning. you kick a man while he's down. <laughs> I think that Martha in this match is the heel and Kirk is the face because Martha Stewart went to jail for being dishonest. Yeah. Captain Kirk always fights for what's right. Yeah, but if she yeah. fights True. dirty is what I'm saying. True. She fights very dirty, man. Yeah. She People bridge. fight dirty against Kirk True. And if we're going the on, time. <laughs> he's used to guard dad. Cassians, man. Yeah. She's armed with dynamite, guys. <laughs> That's real dynamite. This is hard. I'm gonna vote Kirk. I'm fucking Kirk. I'm man. voting Kirk too. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna the hand win. this. Yay. Hand this to Cecily. Enjoy it, Cecily. You, did good. you had a pity vote. That's too bad. <laughs> okay, so now, um, you know, after a lot of debate and, uh, you know, due to vote, that is, you know, definitely up to fucking <laughs> your own interpretation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cecily and Nathan J are going to battle it out for the championship trophy, and me and Vernon are just gonna sit here like fucking losers with our fingers up our assholes. Hey, I'm taking wrestling training right now from Rikishi, WWE legend, so you better watch out. So Pointy. this is for the championship. Please, um, and there might be an asterisk, asterisk next to it. I think there is. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead and take three cards of each. Let's begin the championship. Oh, yeah. I get to go again, because I won. Okay, Cecily and Nathan J, Barnett, please put down your cards. Let's begin the battle. So mine is slightly odd. I have three cards because of the way my black card is. Just so you know. Okay. Really? So everyone at Burning Man oh. can change into a teen mom at will. Oh. Well, I think I got you beat. You do? Because everyone at Burning Man would never want to harm a dolphin. 
Oh, made of sand, which oh. makes up Burning Man, and Holy they hell. stand on top of those dolphins. It's the perfect so hand. So they're automatically going to We've go We've never home. seen it. It's never happened. The perfect hand. But you have to remember that these everyone's at Burning, Burning Man mm -hmm. are teen moms now. So they're making really bad decisions. Oh, yeah, they don't decisions. give a fuck about dolphins anymore. They care about the dolphins, they just don't care if they like step on the sand they care or enough. pee on it. No, they care or enough to do they... acid while going like this in it. They are very well, irresponsible. They cut the plastic. Burning Man is sand. My brother goes every year. It's all sand. It's I all the dolphin. people. That dolphin it's is on the, the people. Dog. Yeah, but he's made out of a dolphin amount of sand. You just can't defeat a dolphin made of sand. It breaks apart and goes back and it comes back. It's sand is everywhere all the time. I want, I want very Are you gonna get rid of all the sand on Earth? Because that dolphin exists wherever there is sand. You're only one dolphin and I'm everyone at Burning but Man. That, you can only attack me with your son. Made, made out of sand though. Dolphin skill sharks. We gotta add a random attribute card because this is, I mean, it's pretty split. I'm definitely voting against Nathan, but it's split. <laughs> it's split. So these split. cards were obviously specifically chosen for me. <laughs> everyone at Burning Man. Oh my Jesus. Ah. Can change into a teen mom at will and can summon an army of African children. No! Whoa. I am a babysitter! Yeah, I, I, I vote Cecily. <laughs> straight up. Uh, it's over. That's the game. I see how Everything bad you started are. with sand, sand and I can appreciate I that. Oh okay, my god, that so actually helps It you. also helps because they are, it is, me. like I said, that, 10 stories tall. It's now that 10 stories tall. Now so now we know that you can't just saying. arbitrarily <laughs> say it's like 10 stories tall. You can do whatever you, you want in this game. Well, now we know it's 10 stories tall. Okay. Um, Glad I didn't yeah, get one, that. I should also bring up Sequest. What says army of African children? It doesn't quest? say like a group of African children. It says army. So they are probably African soldiers, like children soldiers, right? Yeah. They... Which helps your argument of Which, in battle mm, against the Because they're dolphins, used to dealing with sand. But dolphins are the ultimate animal. Sequest, Flipper, those dolphins oh. always defeat every bad guy. How would you vote? Um, I mean, come on. So wait, I, and I, yet we're at a stalemate. Logically, <laughs> vote <laughs> so logically. Wait, you, you voted. Uh, you I voted Cecily, hands down, one hundred percent. But you need to use vote. logic in this vote. How would you I'm vote? Vernon. I'm going Nathan. Yes. Why? Oh, so it is split. <laughs> All right, Vernon's a stooge. Vernon very conveniently wants it to be a split vote, so I'm it goes to the audience to vote. So you guys have to pick who won. Vote and, for uh, me, and if you feel bad for Nathan, I don't mind, go ahead and vote for him. And let's not forget, Cecily is a very attractive young woman with many, many skills. Many I'm suitors. Just a bald man. I'm a skinny bald man with nothing going on. If in my you life. need to need vote for you. him for pity, that's fine with me. Okay, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to Skybound uh, for more videos like this one where Cecily is going to play with toys. See you next time.